Oh, I might have to let Skylar get that. Oh, it is a little heavy. Like I said, say less. <laughs> it's like, what are you proving? Who are you trying to prove it to? I heard that thing popping. Girl. Yeah. You have a good evening. See, naturally, people love me. But why my baby daddy's on? <laughs> Don't know. Y'all already know who the it is. It's your girl, Caleb, aka who? Come Make sure you guys like, comment, and what? Subscribe. Ow. <laughs>
after we leave there, we'll have all day to pretty much, yeah. Um, another report on Darius Lavonte Atkins um, for him withholding my daughter from me. I don't have 20 grand to go to court every other day, even though we've already been to court. And I thought we were adults and we settled this whole thing with 50-50 custody and no child support. But instead, I got left out of the loop here and missed the memo that we're being shysty, uh, what's the other word, childish, and just flat out disgusting. I missed that memo. So now that I've gotten the memo, say less. Like, you know, everybody so easily thinks it's as easy as call the police, that's kidnap. Yes, it is kidnap, but you know how many times I've called the police? You know how many times I've been threatened for them not following the agreement that we agreed to in court? I'm over it. Like I said, unless you have money to give them up front and starting out with a family custody, child custody case, it's five grand up front. That's starting out. I'm doing what needs to be done. Just everyday life and taking care of the other children that I have. I was definitely worrying about making sure that, you know, the same thing that's going on right now with Darius doesn't happen again with Dylan because for some odd reason, these two individuals like being on the same page when it comes to taking kids and running off. I don't understand that. We'll never understand that. Take it from me. If you are that type of person that does that, stop doing that. What's up with the fireworks? What is up with the fireworks? But stop doing that. It is so childish. It's a waste of money, a waste of time. And you look very stupid, literally. But I, nobody has, even if I did have five grand, not saying that I wouldn't or 20 grand, because it's not just one court date, two court date. You got to keep going to court because for some reason, they can't just settle it in, in one, one loop. So, you know, for before all of y'all want to sit around and judge and talk about and gossip about Cody, me, be grateful that you don't have to worry about your baby daddy's running off with your kids. That's the only difference between me, you, me and you. Like, y'all love sitting back wanting to talk about how and why I don't have my children around or why y'all haven't seen them or, you know, going along with the lies of Darius. Do that, but make sure you get the facts straight, okay? Ask Darius why he doesn't have anything of, of liberty before she was a year old. Ask him that, because he was nowhere to be found. Ask little Miss Tori why she wasn't so Team Liberty before Liberty was a year old, because she was nowhere to be found. Like, y'all can get enough of speaking on my children. And I will speak on this and I will continue to speak on this until, like I said, Darius unhands my daughter. I do not care anything about what nobody has to say. If it's not my child being brought to me, I don't care. I don't want to hear nothing about what somebody's intent was or is or wants to be. No, 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 and no. But yeah, like I'm so fed up with all that. I done tried to be cool with everybody's mama, uh, relatives, family members, even the dads, like, and everybody wants to keep playing games with me about my kids. So therefore, not only that, everybody want to keep going to the law lying on me. So therefore, like I said, say less. <laughs> I take accountability. For one, let's just start with, I've learned my lesson. You know, for some reason, I don't even understand how someone could not just do what needs to be done for their children. Whether you like the child's mother, father, whatever scenario it is for you, whether you like them or not, that has nothing to do with you and the love that you have or supposed to have for your child. Y'all know how much I cannot stand my kids' as dads. 
but I have no desire to run off with them, go missing for months at a time and not let them talk to them, see them, try to control them on how they see them, when they see them, for how long they see them. Not one time. And I can count on both my hands and both my feet how many times I've had to worry about that from both my baby daddies. Yeah. Nobody has to pay no child support. Nobody has to worry about Cody knocking at the door, sending text messages, going on social media rants about, oh my God, where's my child support? Oh my God, baby daddy. The things that I talk about is to bring awareness to the effed up BS that goes on with me and a lot of women can relate not just women men as well but a lot of people can relate it's like the ones that make it so easy for the other ones are the ones that end up having it the hardest that's bad when you get to the point where you don't even want to have to worry about dealing with your child's father or even having them in the picture like I said, I'm not in the business of making nobody do nothing they don't want to do, including be with me and including taking care of their children. But running off with mine and to do it to try to make yourself look good, it don't matter how bad anybody or you lie on me. It don't matter what lies you tell to whoever you tell them to, whether it's the police, whether it's whoever. It's not going to make the facts change, it's not. It's not gonna make you get no new clean slate of you've been here since day one, it's not. But that's okay, but now it's not. I could care less about nobody thinking or knowing that my kids as fathers, and I say that so loosely, that my kids as fathers are stand up men and they've helped me and not, you know. That's why I be telling y'all, when y'all see me being cordial with them, that's because that's in me. It's not in them. That's in me. I'm the only one throughout this whole scenario that's been trying to make... Like, literally, I'm the only one that has tried to make this stuff run smooth. Even after I've been lied on, had the police show up at my house. Time after 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 time. Literally, I can't make this up. Get a knock at the door. They here to pick up one. I collect myself after having a breakdown, get another knock at the door. They're here to get the other one. Go to court the next day, get them both back. So it's like, what are you proving? Who are you trying to prove it to? You know, everybody want to swear up and down, it's Cody, Cody, it's me. I'm the issue. I'm not the issue. I'm not. And I'm not going to be quiet about it. I don't care who doesn't like it, whether you're watching my videos and... Oh yeah, good video, but don't talk about, this is what I'm talking about. And if you don't like it, get, get, get the F on. Log it could be as simple as get on the same page. That was the whole point of going to court. I don't know why I keep getting lied to when we go to court. I guess they're scared of the judge and everybody. But when they get outside the courtroom, oh, it's a different song they singing. Cody, F Cody, you ain't seeing your kids. But when we're in the courtroom, cat, cat got the tongues. Cat got the tongues. But this bitter baby daddy stuff, and I'm speaking for my situation. Hey, fellas, if y'all got bitter baby mamas, I feel you. I feel you. But it's ridiculous. It could be so simple. But like I said, until they hand my children over and stop worrying about what I'm doing in my life and trying to control me seeing my kids because... They're butt hurt about whatever. I can't help how you feel. Can't. Like, what in the world? What is the problem? Log off. That's all I'm going to tell anybody that comes over here and looks at any video. I don't care if whatever it is I'm doing. And I have one moment where I'm talking for 10 minutes about this. This is about my children. And majority of you guys that are used to looking at videos of mine and have not just tuned in, but have been tuned in, y'all are used to seeing me with my children 24 seven. And because a man is bitter because he decided to run off and be a dead beat. And I said it with my chest, 
because he decided to run off and be a deadbeat. I now have to suffer because he's trying to redeem himself to y'all, not even to me. Redeeming himself to me would be uh, going through with the 50-50 and no child support that we agreed to in court. That's it, that's all. What's so hard about that? I would not even think to fix my mouth, mind, or anything to have anything to say if I was the deadbeat mama and had run off for my kids and then just popped back up trying to act like I'm Captain Saver. Yeah, I wouldn't have nothing to say. I would take whatever was given to me and from that day forward, I would do my best to be the best person, best parent, best mother I could be. I'm not gonna drag my family into it and try to have them turn against my, my child's like, why would, why would, why, what is that prove? What is that helping? Nothing. At the end of the day, like I've even said, when, when, you, when you go to court, these people in these courtrooms do not care about you. These attorneys, the judges, nobody cares. They care about that money. That's it. But, you know, I've told y'all, I don't care if it's one time a day, I'm going to talk about my children. And right now, it's about liberty. The one that I have not seen coming up on a year because like I said, Darius Levante Atkins is trying to prove some point to y'all because he ain't got to prove nothing to me. He proved himself to me when he was informed that I was pregnant and dipped out, said figure it out, okay? Went and started kids, making kids with other people. Not that I care about that, it's just the principle of it. You can do that for that over there, but this over here is just like, whatever. I'll pick back up with you whenever I'm ready. What? It's like the level of stupidity, childishness, and just flat out disrespect. It's done went too fucking far. It's the wildest thing in my life. I've had to deal with, I would have never, ever, ever thought that motherhood would go this way for me. Never. When I say all I've done has been like, okay, cool. Okay. All right. Works for me. Okay, cool. I've done that so much that it literally makes me so mad that y'all. And when I cry, it's like I'm crying out of anger. I'm crying out of anger. And it's like, I, like I said, I take accountability. I messed up by allowing this, this individual in my life and not being able to see through the BS. But like I said, people will put on a front in a heartbeat, baby. So take it from me. Be careful, ladies, gentlemen as well because it's not just us women that have to go through dealing with this parental alienation scenario that goes on in the world literally every second of the day. And for everybody that has something to say and they think they're Dr. Phil or Judge Judy, okay? It is not, and it does not even matter what state you live in. It don't matter if it's every state in the United States. I guarantee you, if you pick up the phone and call like I've had so many times to call the police to inform them that you've already went to court, you've already done an agreement. They're still gonna tell you it's a civil matter, which means more money, more court. Right, I mean, everything really could be so simple, y'all. It's just sad that, you know, you got to spend money and dip into savings and not do things because, oh, well, we got to go spend a good five, 10, 15, possibly 20 grand to go sit in a courtroom with an individual that is upset because you're holding them accountable. I mean, this is simple. Sign your rights away. I mean, if you don't want to do right, just sign your rights away. You won't have to deal with me all together, but it's not going to be no thing of you chose me to be your child's mother. Okay, didn't nobody force nobody to do nothing with nobody. So, no, but it's not gonna be no, you know what, I'll take care of my daughter as long as I don't have to deal with her mother. Or I'll take care of my child as long as 
I don't have to deal with the father. Like, cause women be doing this parental alienation stuff too. When I speak, I speak mainly for myself and my situation, but I know that, you know, I'm not the only one going through this. I'm not the only mother going through this. And I, I also include the men, the guys in this as well, because I know, like I said, I'm not the only parent going through this and it's not just us women. It's some good men out here that have to go through this as well. And it blows my mind because I would give anything to from the rip, whether we worked out or not. Be able to just be like, man, I can call on my child's father for anything regarding our child. And I say that because it's like nowadays, like, oh my God, you better not call me. Like what? It's wild to me. But yeah, I don't need none of y'all getting in my comments or none of that trying to act like y'all know what's going on up over here. Okay? Because you don't. So for everybody that's like, oh, you be telling too much of your, listen, okay. Log off. If you don't like it, log off. I'm keeping it real. I don't have time to be sugarcoat nothing, making nothing look good for everybody else so they can feel good. I'm worried about me and mine, okay? Until you've been through it, do not, do not refrain. Like, just go ahead and get on up out of here. Do that because I don't have no reason to lie about nothing I'm going through. Nothing. I don't have no reason to be ashamed or embarrassed. All I can do, like I said, is continue to do what I've been doing, which is being the bigger person and continuing to stay strong throughout all of this BS, literally. I don't care about stepping on nobody's toes, hurting nobody's feelings. I don't care. Did nobody care about it when it was me? So it is what it is. And y'all know, I say a lot of this because for some reason my kids as dads, they can't have conversations with me face to face or even through text or even on the phone, it always results into me getting blocked and held from my children. My children held from me, should I say. Like, I, it, it doesn't matter who you are. You can have a conversation with somebody and it may not be what you want to hear and it may not be what they want to hear. But that having a tantrum when you have children is out the door. You better put your pride and your ego to the side. And do you know how much I have done that? You know how much I've stopped myself from wanting to holler and scream and break stuff and I'm trying to keep myself from cussing y'all because I don't feel like editing this video so much, but yeah. So they let it be known that they like to look at my videos on YouTube through the little threats they like to talk about. Oh, you shaking your ass on YouTube, doing this, this, and this. Trying to make it seem like I'm doing that and not worried about my kids. Narcissist. Narcissist, narcissist, narcissistic, narcissistic behavior, narcissistic personality, whatever you want to call it, narcissist. How you going to fault me for not falling weak and breaking down and giving up? Because you purposely have like tried to break me. How? Like I've said it so many times, what am I supposed to do? Sit here and break down and just give up on life and then let's just say something randomly, crazily happens to where my kids is right back here and then when they get back here, I'm all over the mess. I'm a wreck. Like, what's that gonna do? That ain't gonna be no type of good. I've gotta keep living my life regardless. Yes, I break down. Yes, I cry. Yes, I have days where I'm so depressed that I can't even even think to function. Like, I cannot make this up, y'all. Not only that, it just, like I said, it shows that you're paying attention, but to the wrong thing. Don't be worried about me shaking nothing on my body. Okay? You weren't worried about me shaking no legs, holding them up, getting ready to push a baby out, or should I say, uh, when I'm over here finna get one cut out of me, you weren't worried about none of that, but you can see what I'm doing when I'm shaking ass and stuff. Okay. But, you know, everybody love to say they're not worried about Cody. But you are. But you worried about the wrong thing when it comes to Cody. And I'm saying that to these baby daddies because they love to let me know what I'm sharing on Facebook when I'm saying deadbeat this and deadbeat that. Like, don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself. All I'm saying is, is before the child came about, you weren't considered a deadbeat. But when the child came and you showed me what you were not going to do, 
That's when you became the deadbeat. Mm. And the crazy part about this, y'all, I have no desire to want to keep talking about this. Like, literally makes me sick in my stomach. Like, I'd be just as tired talking about this as y'all do be listening to it. Like, literally. I really do. I promise you. But like I said, I'm not going to let up because the moment I shut up, they're going to swear up and down. She done forgot all about her baby. Just like Darius want to make posts talking about I'm trying to make y'all think that I'm seeing Liberty because I said something about her birthday party. Regardless if my child's here with me or not, because she's not, because Darius is holding her. Remember that. She, I'm still going to have a birthday party for her. Same way for Taylor. Had Dylan not contacted me or we not ended up talking before Taylor's birthday, I still would have been doing something for my daughter's birthday. I'm not just going to stop because they want me to stop. That's what they want me to do and I'm not going to do it. But they, they can't see that. It's real deal a slick obsession that they have with Cody, to be honest. Because, honey, you couldn't pay me to be doing none of this with the way I feel about my baby daddies. I could care less, literally. Once you go to the police on me and lie on me, doing the dirt that you, y'all be, they be doing. Baby, you ain't got to ever worry about me no more. Ever. Ever. Oh my soul, you really do not have to ever worry about me. Not that you had to before. I mean, obviously figured it out. I think that's why everybody's mad. Because I didn't just sit up here and turn out to be this effed up description of a mother that they're trying to portray me to be. That's why they mad. But it, like I said, they obsessed. What Mariah Carey say? Why are you so obsessed with me? It's clear. What she said? That you're obsessed with me. Ooh. Yeah, it's clear. Because if it was real deal, F that creature, never want to talk to that creature, like one of them stated, me a creature. Man, people don't look in the mirror nowadays, I can tell. Even with this bonnet on and this moo moo gown, baby, never would I be considered a creature. But, I mean, nowadays, you know, everybody crying about having to get put on child support. You literally get the okay that you don't have to pay child support and 50-50, which means we both have the same amount of rights. What more can I give? I have nothing else to give. So, it is what it is, but I just wanted to say that because like I said, it's been a few days I've talked about Liberty and I'm going to keep talking. I'm gonna keep talking about this, like I said, until everything is done, you know? Like I said, I will shut the F up as soon as my child is back with me. Only thing y'all gonna see is where we picked up and left off. That's if he continues to wanna see his child. I don't know, you know how folks like to switch up when they don't get their way and they butt hurt about something. Y'all will continue to see us meet down at the county jailhouse for pickups and drop offs. I'm not saying nothing to nobody and nobody better not say nothing to me. That's simple. That's what we was already doing. What happened? I have no idea. But anyways, y'all already know who it is. And if you don't, it is your Caleb, aka okay, who? Cody, aka okay, who? Their mother effing mother. <laughs> now let's go get this package. That Tums kicked in. I guess I ran my mouth enough. Huh. Man, man, man. That's part of being a parent. Part of being a mama. Oh, I might have to let Skylar get that. Hold on. Okay. Let's see. And I gotta pee. Yeah. So I'm just going to rinse the tip. 
I need to get one of those motorized brushes, like those long ones with the little thing like this at the end and you can turn it on and it does it by itself. That is gonna be my next thing. Cause baby, his belly is in the way. I gotta vacuum up all my dead skin, y'all. The other night, whenever Skylar was peeling my feet, I told him just break it in the floor and I'll vacuum tomorrow, which is today, so. Alright, we're just gonna get in the tub. And all the lighters have migrated downstairs. I heard a thing popping. I promise it was not my hands. That quick, I almost forgot what I came down here for, which was a lighter, so I can light my candle. I originally didn't come down here for these, but they need to be folded, so might as well. I'll fold them when I get out of the towel. Did I just drop a towel? Ooh, baby. Y'all, I promise, eventually y'all gonna see me with one of them long, fancy lighters. And a snuffer. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Ow! Okay, we got that.
right, I will see y'all when I get out. All right, guys, I'm at Walmart. I'm about to return this little doll head. I could not find my receipt. Isn't that crazy? I could not use this buggy. I cannot. It's like going that way and I'm going this way. Why do people put their trash? But, um, yeah, I could not find the receipt, but hopefully I pay for it with my card. And even if I didn't use my card, I'll just get a gift card. And I know I'll either spend it in here today or some other time. So let's go do that. And after I get out of this line, y'all, I'm going to go use the restroom just because, like, I may not be able to walk around too much longer. Listen, y'all know my feet are peeling because I've used one of those little things on my feet. I just pray that nobody that I know anyways walks up behind me and sees my feet peeling. Oh my goodness. I had to lean up because my belly's in the way. All right, so what I came to the conclusion of with this, if they happen to can't find it on my card or whatever, or tell me that they can't refund it for the price I know I paid for it, I'm just going to keep it in Liberty and Taylor will have matching doll heads because this one, I know I paid like 30 something dollars for it and then I found it again for like 10, 15 dollars cheaper. So I rebought it and the only receipt that I could find was the one to the cheaper one that I bought. So yeah, push come to shove. I'm just going to keep it and Taylor and Luke will have matching doll heads. It's super cute, but you know, I was gonna get her something else. Hello. I just need to return this. I don't think that I have my receipt, and I'm not sure if I paid cash or card. Um, I have my card. Just okay, well, I'll just keep it then. See, I knew that was gonna happen, but yeah, I'll just keep it. I tried your card, it wasn't on that card. Oh, okay. But yeah, because what I did was is I actually seen it on clearance and I rebought it, and I was just gonna bring it back and get what I paid the first time. But I don't have the receipt. I don't even know where it's at, so it's not a big deal. And I have two <laughs> daughters anyway, so they'll just have matching daughters. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with those. They just don't fit. They're too big for her. That's crazy, y'all. Of all the receipts, or should I say, of all the times I'd be trying to return something, I don't have that receipt. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this one either. Last number. They saved me on the camera coming in with this, so. Yeah, I'll give you another bag, too. 874. Oh. Okay. Five, six, seven, and eight. Thank we'll you. All say you're welcome. Okay, I'm new. That was gonna happen, and what she said is that it's clearance for twenty dollars, which I know that. That's why I rebought it. So she was just like, without the receipt, I can't return it back to you for what you paid for it. So I was like, okay, I'll just keep it before I take it back for twenty dollars because that ain't what I paid for it. 
So now Lib and Tay have matching doll heads. How about that? <laughs> That's crazy. I knew I knew that was gonna happen. They're gonna have me a salad tonight too. Got those. Okay, bacon bits. Because I always forget that. And I've learned my lesson. These other brands are no. This right here is the brand to go with, y'all. So I'm gonna get some of these. Get some more ranch. Even though I just got two bottles, but y'all, Skylar, he be eating these salads up, baby. Okay. That's what I said I was going to get. Some ice cream sandwiches, but I said I was going to bring the cooler. We'll just do that tomorrow, possibly. I need to get some more hot sauce. But yeah, we'll do that tomorrow when we go to the baby doctor. And I'll make sure that I bring the cooler. And I didn't bring my gimbal, so that's why we're kind of like all over the place with the angles and whatnot. I always get the super saw, just because like if there is extra uh, ground beef, I just make me some little regular tacos. Do we need my sauce? No. I already have a taco kit at home. I'm gonna get some drinks. I need to get some more Halloween candy. some cereal too Ooh, I said I was gonna go to the bathroom but these little bad boys come in handy in the mornings when I just really don't feel like you know cooking And they don't really have too many, um, I don't know if Landon likes Captain Crunch or not. So, ooh, I looked up like that because that sounded like somebody I did not want to be around. Cody. Well... I guess that's all on that. Get some Pop Tarts. And I do need to get some more milk. I'm gonna get some Lunchables. Normally when I get Lunchables, Landon does not eat them. But I guess it's one of the things it's like, when that's what's in there, that's what they are gonna eat. I'm gonna get some more of those. Is that about two different kinds of gallon lunch? Get Skylar some of these. I'm gonna get him some corn as well. And I'll show y'all what brand I get. It's the green giant brand. See where it says Nibblers? That's what I was talking about, but that's not the brand. Ring Giant is the brand. And y'all, when I tell y'all he loves corn, this is extra sweet. So I'm going to get one of each. Let's see if he likes those better or not. Okay, now I need to go get some butter. In the morning for breakfast, I don't really know what the plan is. So I think I'm just gonna get some bagels and get me 
some grape jelly or something, but I'll have to get up like a couple of hours ahead of time because I can't eat two hours before. It has to be two hours. So, yeah. Slot back up on the snack cakes. Nutty Buddies. Blinding likes Nutty Buddies. All right, let me go get some grape jelly. Get some orange juice also. Sure is. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's like the more healthier, the more expensive. No, it's been running naturally without eating, girl. Been running 250 without eating. Nuh uh. So I have to control my diet. Most definitely. Yeah. You have a good evening. See, naturally, people love me. But why my baby daddy's on? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> Do not know. They're still out of vanilla Coke, and they are. So, let me just get these. Try not to smush this box. Milk and butter, and we're done. Why does this always end up taking longer than expected? Never fails. Butter. Is that not over here? Or is that over there? Yes, yeah, over there. Y'all, that little song is stuck in my head. Excuse me. What happened to just the regular butter? That's cinnamon. I don't want no cinnamon honey. I don't want no light butter. So... I don't know what's up with this calcium butter. Or, just get that one. Okay, guys, out of here. Ooh, I said I was gonna get orange juice, didn't I? Let's go. Y'all already know who up it is. It's your girl, Caleb, aka who Cody. Make sure you guys like, comment, and what? Subscribe. <laughs> Y'all, we do need one of these, so. I'm gonna get this. We need one of these for my bathroom. I'm gonna get it and see if it works. If it works, okay. If it does not, it will be brought back. They have all kinds of clearance stuff.
get this for the guys's giveaway basket. What else can I get for you guys? Because I feel like I went all out on the ladies. <laughs> okay. And uh, what else? that's it now let me go get these halloween buckets and some halloween candy and then we're out of here yeah okay and it does not look like they have a blue so Ooh. i'm gonna get a pink for the ladies let me make sure it lights up Got that one for the ladies. Okay. And the guys are just gonna have to get an orange. Make sure it lights up. Yeah. Candy. Candy tomorrow because I gotta be really bad. Y'all do not understand. Oh, you do? Y'all, Skylar thought he was going to be funny. He said, well, I'm already at the house, so I got tired of waiting on you. I said, ah, that's real cute. I'll see you in just a second. Oh, let me scoot down. And I still didn't pee. So, what I thought was going to happen, happened. Say. It didn't come up on my card, so she was like, uh, it's clearance for $20. I said, but I didn't pay $20, obviously. Yeah. And she was like, well, without the receipt, I said, well, I'm just going to keep it then. I said, I figured that was going to happen, so I'm just going to keep it. Yeah. I got two daughters anyway, so don't even worry about it. I could blame it on a physical. I could blame it on your lips, your touch. You kiss, you know, real traditional But your love's too original You were anything but the original Baby, did you know that From the moment we fell in and knew we couldn't fall back Knew I'd always crawl back mm -hmm. Cause baby, it's... Give me 1853, go ahead and pull to the window 
to me, I don't know. It seems like the more um, simpler the meal is supposed to be, the more difficult they make yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I literally just wanted a freaking cheeseburger. And then she's going, and it comes pickle or something. Yeah, you tell them what you don't want on it. And I, listen, every time you don't say it, that's when they put it on there. Yeah. But when you say don't put it, they want to have a little smart ass rebuttal. And it comes pickle mayonnaise. And, okay. Well, how come all these other times it's come with tomato and onion when I didn't want it? Boy. Yeah, that's when they screwed up. Is this the pregnancy talk? Is this. I was like, oh lord, I'm about to sound slow. That's how you know, but I said I heard that because shake it, it sounds like different. It has. I did hear the difference yeah, whenever it was like, in your hand. Yeah, that's why I looked down. I was like, boy, I know that sound. That's crazy. 1959, guys. Solid silver. Cool. Um, and your other. Even hitting on that, it just sounds like. Yeah, it did. Well, I looked down quick too. I was like, oh. Because <laughs> at first I was like, uh oh, she done gave him back the wrong change. Because by the one time, I think somebody has a corner and they hit it, they set it on tape or something. And uh, he always got the old man, you know, and I guess mm -hmm. it just got a quarter, I don't know, a week or something. It's changed. It's, like, it's still in his pocket. I was like, listen, I was watching him. I heard it hit and I was like, sounds like silver. <laughs> and they was like, dang you. So like, yeah, you're right. I would have never <laughs> caught that, y'all. Good looking out. Thank you. That's super cool, though. That was when our money was actually worth money. Big smile. Yeah. But y'all, we we starting to have that old oh, syndrome. Yeah. No. Not remembering that. nothing. It don't matter. You, oh. you remember the most important yeah. thing. Blame it on a physical I could blame it on your lips Your touch, your kiss You know, real traditional But your love's too original You were anything but conventional Baby, did you know that From the moment we fell in And knew we couldn't fall back Knew I'd always crawl back Cause baby, it's the everything for me For me, for me Baby, it's the everything for me For me, oh, for me Cause baby, it's the everything for me For me, for me Tomorrow we gotta take the trash off too I got some trash bags downstairs. I had one of them drawers hid somewhere from where I had all the damn blankets. 
backed up from falls. videos of that when I start getting a little low on content that's when I'll start <laughs> letting y'all see everything I get when we go to the grocery store but for now To try them, they're so good. I'm yeah. actually hiding them because yeah, if not, the kids will get them. just stay stocked up on them you know just because like true enough my baby daddies are keeping my babies from me but I still prep as if they're here just in case but you know we can't just keep leaving stuff in here and then they go out of date you know so yeah next time I'm gonna let Dylan know hey make sure y'all bring a cooler or something so I can give her them drinks because I'm not just gonna keep holding on to them, you know. It's just dumb. I was gonna let her enjoy. Them. All I'm saying is, is what deadbeat baby mama you know can do that? Also. Baskets with me tomorrow. 
I didn't have a blue one, guys, so you guys get an orange. Girls get pink. Oh, and I got this. I don't know. We're going to have to test it out so we can see if it works or not. It was clearance, so. see him a minute ago he was looking for these but i put them in the freezer and not the fridge that's well, okay well i didn't remember what i was looking for though the whole point like, oh. i just knew i was like <laughs> i knew i looked for something i don't forget i guess she thought once you got there it would have came to yeah you. when i seen them i would have remembered but i was like what the heck did i come here for that's funny <laughs> oh no there's our doll head so lib and tay have matching Ball heads. Y'all tell me why I gotta pee again. One baby's burger and the other baby. Both babies. Wait, didn't you? What? Get me some chips to go with my burger because. Dairy Queen wants to be cheap. How y'all gonna charge us twenty dollars for a meal and not come with no damn fries, baby? I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna eat some of these later though. And on the thing it says you can use dip or something like that. I've never tried that, but I don't think it would be as good. But I might have a big girl day one day. try it out. But for now, we're going to eat them plain when we eat them. But y'all, I promise they're so good. And I know y'all keep hearing them sirens. We can't help it. We like watching uh, police chases and all kinds of stuff. Well, listen y'all i was supposed to record a little video when i seen it was on me i was like oh <laughs> i'm about to tear this bad boy up see how quick i can eat it no i ain't gonna do that but it's gonna go bye bye <laughs> that was so good <laughs> yeah there it went mm-hmm It's just funny how it just like you can see the whole little thing. yeah, girl, boy. Oh, it just stops. Every time <laughs> I stop recording, y'all be scrolling on my phone. And honey, my stomach just be going every which way. As <laughs> soon as I get this camera out, Stalls. nothing. Nothing. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is round two. Round two. Not the sides. Some baby smooth. Literally, there's a little 
That's a big that chunk, dude. Like it's starting to peel on the side too. Her foot right there. Oh wow. And y'all seen how much came off last night. Listen, when I was at Walmart, I vlogged a little bit, and I was like, Lord, I pray don't nobody I know come up and stand behind me in this line and see, your feet. And see my feet. Because I'm thing. not about oh, it. If, if, I, if I see someone flip-flops, I'm actually yes, just look. just look. I can hear somebody now. Boy, you ain't gonna believe who I got behind in Walmart today. And when I say that girl feet was... Man. crusty. So, I don't know who was behind me. I don't, it wasn't nobody that I knew, but if y'all did know me, mind your business. So in the middle of a yeah, we're in the middle of a process here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, literally, y'all. It's, it's literally just peeling off at this point. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. That's a whole pocket. See all that's what I'm going through. Oh wow! So that's come off so much easier than us. That. And I actually sat in the bath today, y'all, yeah, for a little that, bit. Yeah. This one's a little slower, guys, but you can see I started it right here. I scratched off a little bit, and it's kind of see. Look right there, babe. Oh yeah, you gave me a start point. Yeah. <laughs> Which I haven't, I mean, I've looked at the ingredients, but I didn't really just look like that. But I'm going to look and is see that, is in it that makes it do that because that's some, that's some gold right there, y'all. I've been and spent, I don't know how much money getting pedicures for years. And I have never had my feet peeled like this at all. You know, when you go to the salon, they practically just play around with your dead skin with that pumice stone. And it gets all like, like, gooey like, and then next day your feet are back crusty. So, uh, uh. But oh yeah, I did get you one today. They had two more left, and I got both of them. Y'all look at my big toe. That my boy's next. It's a Boy, good pill. The front of it looks like it don't even belong on my foot. It's starting to feel so bad. <laughs> on that little piece of skin, on that towel. <laughs> I'm over here just slothing away. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dude, that, look how shiny it looks though when you did it. Yeah, look at all that on the tail already. I was literally just done this last night. On the same foot. Yeah, we're on the same one. I haven't touched that one yet. It, it does get thick on the side right there. Come on. That's pretty damn. It don't hurt. Mm -mm. Uh, all right, there's another good. <laughs> Y'all, and I promise, nothing that he has done has hurt, so. That was just, uh, I think it's just because it's thicker. Cause it's I know a lot of people will probably be like, I guess I'm pretty sure cool. he pulling her skin off raw on her feet. No. Like, it's literally already dead that skin, be, so. I hope everybody's toes got that thicker. Cause you're just I think so. Because mm -hmm. that's why I thought it was, it was like the sun is good. Just because I think everybody kind of does walk on their side. I was about to say, it normally comes off really good in the crease, too. Or, I I guess I'm saying, like, that's a good place to, like, scratch at it to, like, start. Yeah. In the crease. That's why, boy, them doctors be brave. Want to check us every damn time we come up in there. Yeah. Which I think now that we're getting close to there, I think it's closer to the end where they literally check you every week. Check you what? Like, check your Gucci. Oh, yeah. Make you get up there and... Yeah. Because the only thing I've had to do was the pap smear so yeah. far. That was it. But I pooed it, y'all. Missed it. I heard it. You kept talking. So that was a poo. I don't think you heard me. I said that was a poo. <laughs> it's a. I can't even do it. It's a. Burp. <laughs> I love her. Yes. Yes. Nice feet. Putin. Putin. Pissing. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, and this is why I say if you're going to do this life for vacation, date night type things, do it a week in advance at least. Yeah, give it time to peel. Yeah, because you don't want to be out in the middle of your outing and somebody has to look down and see big pockets of skin peeling off your feet. You made the pole like. Yeah. Ocean, you out there just walking around. <laughs> you look good in your bikini and your whole feet's oh, peeling everywhere. Shoot. Like snake skin. Man, that'd be bad. And somebody done took my work. Mm. But did you get it? But just like how that looks, mm -hmm. it's so soft and smooth. Oh, yeah. 
I'm just gonna get a bunch of them for now so I can get pretty good. Passenger, get off the phone! Put it out the window! Wow. I don't know if I already killed it. I don't know if I just. Why should I not be here? Wow, it looks so crazy. But I mean, that's so shiny. Oh my god, it feels like, like you said, like baby skin. So that should be a good like. That's crazy. Hey, do Let me do like. Let me hold it. Oh, wow. But like, that's baby smooth. But you can see where your bottom of your foot's dry. Uh huh. And then you get all that's gonna come up, y'all. But you can tell that's like smooth and soft. What do I mean? Make sure my nails are clean before I put my nails in the video. <laughs> I think it's clear, but yeah. Dry, ready to peel, and then boom, brand new soft skin. <laughs> I cool. love how you said it. Hold on, let me look at my. Put my fingers <laughs> Y'all, check that out. O M G. Now imagine if somebody would have walked up behind me at Walmart. <laughs> Boy, you had all that. <laughs> and they fought him. Man, that's crazy. That's just months of dead skin, y'all. So when y'all think y'all are getting that dead skin off with those pumice stones, you're not. I promise you, you're not. Only thing you're doing is making it more hard. It gets soft, and then it gets harder, and then that's what it ends up looking like. Wow, that looks look how, like it's painful, but it's really not. But look how that skin looks so like it's soft so and smooth. It's so smooth compared to. Yeah. Wow, what was you this first night we hung out? That's what my feet look like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you tell me why. <laughs> I can see me like baby, we suck on the And then, I've been there, I've been like, boy. <laughs> oh shoot. Ladies, that'd be a good prank to pull on your man. Put one of them on your feet. Yeah, I think I've been together. Yeah, after y'all been night. together because he may not want to talk to you ever again if he sees that. And Run his ass off. Yes. Uh, but I think I'm comfortable. And yeah. Because y'all ain't no way I would let Skylar see my feet like this first day. No way. Like, oh my gosh. That's pretty much what that looked like the first time we did Y'all, that coming off, it literally, the best way I can describe it, it feels like, like your foot's in a bag, and it's been. So I'm trying to do it in one big piece, like. That is, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm trying to peel it all at one, like the whole skin piece at one time. Y'all. Friends just get started to heal, but I ain't gonna heal yet, but. O M G. And y'all can talk about me all y'all want to. I don't care, baby. Oh, yeah. They're going to talk about me. They're like, that's a sick mother. <laughs> you don't like to say it. That's a sick. Uh huh. Like, he enjoyed playing with her dead ass skin. It's like, y'all. Y'all got to try it. You got to try it. It's something that helps her skin, and I'm going to help her. You can't be bending over trying to do it. Exactly. Y'all, I will have these linked on my website. If you need one. That's crazy. If you 
take it's like if you take your time you uh-huh. know, brush it, you can get it all in one just pill. Hey, this might be the Guinness record of the that is biggest crazy. piece of damn dead skin. Oh, literally. Boy, I'm ready to see how bad they're going to cook me on this. Trust the process. Oh, sad. I show can Deep down that'd be wish Oh my god. So y'all get ready to be grossed out, but Oh <laughs> there's uh, one piece of your skin. <laughs> my gosh, y'all, that came off all that in one piece pretty much. You can see where you're like look at that side compared to that. Side. Oh uh, my Look at that, y'all. <laughs> I cannot. Hold up. Let me look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. That's a huge face. Oh, my gosh. Like half your foot. Come on. Y'all just think about, you know, when y'all be like, oh, my feet are ashy. Y'all put lotion on this, practically, is what y'all put yeah, lotion on. It's not you. going to the part that it's up under what was up under here. Oh, that wow. That was a quick little big chunk. That's crazy. So, like, look at your heel, if you can get that. But look what's left, but see how... Oh, dry. wow. And that left side, y'all, is... What that was? Yeah, let's feel a place in the middle still. In the middle. But the more you soak your feet, the more it it peels better. So, yeah, I cannot believe that edge came off. It has been a minute since I've done one of them bags, though. So, wow. Most definitely get one for your granny, your auntie, your cousins, your sisters, uh, your girlfriends, your your wife, fiance, whatever. Hey, even your husband, your daddy, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, your granddaddy, all of them. Everybody need it. I promise you. I'm putting one on Skylar here in a minute, y'all. And then y'all gonna get to see me do his. Because, yes, I am gonna do his. Who did y'all think I was? Not only that, I went to school for this, y'all. And I'm not going to lie, I love doing pedicures. Like, I don't know if it's because you get more tips or what it was, but um, I actually enjoyed giving pedicures. Like, for real, I did. So, you went to school for this, so you can teach me a thing or two. Y'all, if I would have knew about this little trick when I was in hair school, baby, talk about... I'd be a millionaire. They'd be coming to see me every other week. Do you hear? Wow. Y'all, that came off the side right there.
<laughs> All right, guys, this is day two. But that's way better. Oh, that looks so way better. Oh, MG, that looks way better. Literally, imagine all well, all of that being on that foot. That was on one foot, yeah. That's pretty much your whole foot. Oh, it even feels smoother. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That is insane. <laughs> And yes, y'all, my feet are not dirty. Obviously, y'all seen when I had my little bath today, so don't do me. But look at all that that came off my feet, y'all. This part right here is the part that got be. I ought to use this as a bookmark. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Good job, babe. Hey, look at that down there. Didn't want to see his part, but look, look at all. Soft and kissable now. Never mm. anybody's. You always had good feet. Shoot. Not all that dead skin on them. That's sweet, y'all. Oh my gosh, even right now it just feels so different. I can actually feel the sheets. <laughs> Man! No, that shit's fun. I don't know why. I just think either I'll pop the pimples or put it on the skin, one or the other. I want to hear how hard it sounds when I rip it. I just think that's your DNA. bunch of DNA there. Right. <laughs> I can't say Cody never been in this damn bedroom or something. Like I'm this. saying my shit's sprinkled <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Y'all, he's doing that because I paid it. Yeah, I don't want to smell it. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I first need to get Skylar all suited and booted. and booted. So they come out of a bag like so. You unravel. Yep. Oh, really? This is what they look like. No. So, I mean, unless you like a size 15, something like that, you ain't gonna be able to use these. Or you could, but you have to like get more than one because you just have to double them up. You know what I mean? So, Shaquille and Neil would need like a lot of these. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of these. All right. So, here's the first one. What you do, you pinch it here at the top and open it up. So give me a minute, because I got these nails on. They don't want to mess up your paint too. Uh-uh. All right, y'all, like I was saying, give me a little minute here. She's struggling a little bit. I'm bad, so I'll get them on the cover. I mean, put them on the towel, so. I don't know about you. Okay, here we go, I got it. All right, so I got it started. So you literally just peel it like that, like you're opening a bag. And it'll come open there at the top. Like so. I'm just gonna take his foot. Put it in here, it's super cold. Not bad. So, here we go. Is that right? Yeah. Alright, y'all, normally when I do it, I use the heat pack because I don't like my feet to be cold. 
hell. Yeah, it feels real like. All right, so put your foot in there like that right there. And me, I like to like move it around so it like really gets on your feet or whatever. And literally wherever the bag is, your feet will peel up to that point. So his feet possibly, if there's dead skin there, will peel up to right here. But I'm gonna put the other one on. And then before I leave it alone, I'm gonna make sure I do that so it really gets on there really, really good. And you also focus on the spots where you think or know you have the most dead skin. So we're really working it on this big toe right here. I got good feet though. But yeah, he does have really soft feet. I'm not even gonna lie. Alright, guys, I'm gonna open the other one and do the other foot. We done seen this one like 4,000 times. I'm pretty sure we've seen about all these cop shows. Probably. I think we done watched everything. She stole that woman Victoria's Secret order. And, and, uh huh. Well, that's the lady that ordered them. Oh, okay. But it's their next door neighbor's daughter, who's literally an adult, and wore, had already done put a pair of them on. Oh, wow. The package literally just got delivered that day. I'm sorry, we're in. And she's like, I only have this many. And they were like, well, that means she's got to have a pair of them on. Yeah. All right, Russ, I've got that one open. And listen, y'all, even if you rip it a little bit, like, if you don't open it, like, perfectly, it's fine. It is fine. All right. I'm trying to bring my foot to you, so you can get a crawler. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing on this foot. Just work it on in. And then I'm going to wrap the towel up around his foot so it's kind of like warm. I feel like anything warm makes stuff activate more. And it says to leave it on there for about 60 to 90 minutes. We're going to leave it on there for a good minute. I would recommend take a shower first so your feet are clean. This happened. That's all she had to do. But she kept lying and kept lying. Which one kept lying? The one in the sweatshirt back there. The hoodie. So the mom and dad fight it. Yeah, they really don't know. I love her sweatshirt. Alright guys. Now just do that. Just keep the heat in. And let it do this thing. Alrighty, guys. We're gonna let them. What time is it? Sit on there, right there. Uh, all I did was wrap up a towel just to kind of like keep it some kind of what he did. If you want to every night again, is it really perfect? But if you want to every night again, you can rub them together. You know, whatever, move them around in there. But uh, yeah, even if you did have to get up, just I would put a pair of socks on. Socks probably like Uh huh. That's what I do too. I put a pair of socks on. That's why they do put an old pair of work socks on over. Yeah, do that. Oh, wow. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Just be careful. It should be, yeah. Oh, it's a little butterfly. Not butterfly, but mad or something. But yeah, get a pair of work socks and put on them. Oh, that well, I got some right here. Perfect. No, no. Actually, does say on there that you know if they're like too loose, which it is going to be loose on anybody, just to uh, keep them, you know, keep it in place. <laughs> but that's what I do too. I put a pair of socks on. Actually, I put two, but that's just because my feet be cold. And I'm bougie. 
But you already know I gotta pee, and I'm gonna fold these towels that I got out of the jar earlier. Really? You pee? I do. Uh, you already knew that. Oh, that's the bed. Yeah. And now you can put the towel on there, and it's not so like you know. I don't know if I done it. I guess. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. So, in a couple of days, y'all will get to see me. Pill scholar's toes. Feet. The dog. Yeah. Listen, if your woman ain't rubbing your feet the way you rub hers, throw the whole woman away. Bro, said, holy shit. Watch this PlayStation right here. It's not a PlayStation, but someone's got their own dash cam. But watch this skin. I was say it's a BMW, but that fucker ain't driving. Now watch my name. I'm over a whip that thing. Yeah, like. <laughs> the coach did so many, just then when he went ahead and pulled off, he said, oh. <laughs> That dude was fucking whipping that car. He drifted it, like, literally, you see his tire chart, he drifted it through there. What the cost that bitch in It's because she's got them on her, her behind. That's why they can't find them. Too, and, you know, and so it's like, and I, I would have never got it back if you guys didn't come here, so she was, she was taking my stuff. Oh, look at my little cute shirt, style got me from Mark. That's cancer awareness. Stowers trying to keep her calm and get an explanation. And so, when you're looking through all those items and putting them away, like you said, yeah. did any of them, did it all seem like stuff that you ordered? Or I didn't even pay attention. I was just trying to, keep, I was doing what she told me to clean the base thing because I had so much just go back in for my boyfriend. We broke up. So okay, they're getting very yeah, minty yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're sure.
how you think you can hang? I don't know. They tingling. <laughs> they got some tingling going Listen, on. Listen, y'all. Skylar got them sensitive white people feet. <sighs> nah. <laughs> I, got some, I got some dogs on me. Oh. Y'all, his ain't nowhere near. Like, I ain't saying I have rough feet, but I have a lot of dry, dead skin on there. I don't think mine would be rough just from like... But no, only bad spot is your uh, Sunlight. your toe, the side of your toe. And like I said, when it is time for that to come off, to come especially if you've been at work all day, then you coming home and get in the shower. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> you ready? Hey. I'm so excited. <laughs> all I'm have to do is stick a. Uh, I'm gonna get like a little cuticle thing. That's what I should have gave you to do. Good morning, y'all. I'm cold. Oh. I would stop right there. It's 6 or 8. We don't have to be there till 8.40, but I'm going ahead and getting up because I just don't want to rush. I'm about to turn the heater on because I'm cold. Oh, I have my makeup doing before Tyler calls. 